Hello and welcome back to yet another GCSE revision lesson. Now, I want to wrap up the five sentence starters that you can start for all five paragraphs in your creative writing story, okay? So this is gonna be the fifth and final video in this series that I created because lots of you guys, especially in a poll that I put out on YouTube, Basically said, when it comes to English GCSEs, the area that you struggle most, especially with creative writing for language paper one, is knowing how to literally even start those paragraphs, okay? So what I want to do in this final video within this series is show you guys the perfect sentence starter for your fifth and final paragraph. This is your ending paragraph. Whether you decide to end it really nicely or end it on a cliffhanger, use this phrase and this sentence for that fifth and final paragraph. And when I say five paragraphs, I'm talking about the story mountain structure. Paragraph number one is your beginning paragraph. Then paragraph two is build up. Paragraph three is problem. Paragraph four is resolution. And then this video is gonna be tackling the best sentence starter you can use for any creative writing story for paragraph number five. So let's have a look at the sentence starter you can use for this paragraph. And then I'm gonna tell you why it's perfect and why it fulfills both AO5 and AO6 marks, okay? So this is the, st the starting sentence that you can use for your final ending paragraph, whether it's gonna be a really nice ending or a cliffhanger, whichever you want to use, go for this sentence starter. Racing thoughts which filled my mind slowly dissipated. Ah, taking in a deep breath, I inhaled the syrupy slow air. What am I doing in this final fifth paragraph? What I'm trying to show my reader after the denouement, which is kind of the slowing paragraph in the resolution, now I'm showing that there's now a change in my demeanor as the protagonist, okay? So as the protagonist, you're now showing your ending paragraph, okay, so the big issue is gone in your resolution paragraph, you resolved it, and now at this stage, of course, you've been affected and you've somehow changed, right? So this final sentence starter is showing that you have changed, you're still feeling a, a bit of that tension, but all of that tension was filling your mind, filling your heart is now dissipating, it's disappearing, okay? So let's quickly go over why this is a really perfect sentence starter for the ending paragraph. Number one, I'm showing, and obviously I'm alluding to the rest of the story by showing that there was something that was an obstacle, there was an issue. And of course this issue made my mind race, okay? So these racing thoughts which filled, and of course this is also using hyperbole, right, over exaggeration. I start off using that hyperbole, but then I'm now showing actually, even if I was really, really stressed out, actually these feelings disappear. It, they dissipate, right? And the word dissipation also means just disappearing or like fizzling out, which is ambitious language and vocabulary, okay? Equally, I then use my one word sentence R, right? And of course, also this counts as onomatopoeia. Before, I then talk about how I've taken a deep breath and I'm taking in the syrupy slow air using uh, sibilance here, but also showing that the air itself, right? So now here I'm kind of using a little bit of the weather, a little bit atmospheric reference. I'm showing that even the atmosphere itself is also slowing down, right? I'm preparing my reader for the ending part of this story. Now, let's go over why this sentence is really, really powerful and why it fits what examiners are looking for. Let's first start off with AO5, right? AO5 asks you uh, to make sure you're communicating imaginatively. I would definitely say this phrase communicates imaginatively. In fact, even the fact that, you know, I'm describing the air as syrupy slow, I'm using lots of metaphors, I'm using like a mix of different sentences. I'm using lots and lots of imaginative writing to finish off my story, to keep my reader still intrigued. Equally, you're asked to include ambitious vocabulary. For example, words like dissipated, even for example, the slow air being syrupy, that's ambitious language and vocabulary, okay? And equally, when it comes to tone, style and register, of course, when it, with register, I use very formal register. The tone here that I'm setting is kind of this slowing tone, right? Now my reader who maybe was tense throughout my story is now like, oh, okay, I can relax. And equally, when it comes to structural features, I use a mix of longer complex sentences with one word minor sentences. That's AO5. However, I also need to make sure I'm fulfilling AO6, which examiners also look for, right? When it comes to AO6, of course, firstly, make sure you demonstrate technical accuracy. Don't make any spelling errors, okay? Also, spelling and punctuation, to be fair, it's literally similar, right? Technical accuracy is what you're writing, literally accurate, right? There's no kind of punctuation all over the place or spelling. Same goes with spelling and punctuation, basically your spag marks. And finally, you also need to show that you're making use of complex grammatical features. What that means is your long and short sentences, your listing, your semicolons, all of that. And of course, as I said here, 
Here I'm adding, for example, you know, long uh, racing thoughts, comma, which filled my mind, comma, right? So that's kind of like parenthetical lists, okay? Parenthesis just simply means brackets, but I've used a comma here instead, right? A comma on either side. So that's complex grammatical feature. As I mentioned, I've also used a one word sentence. We also call it a minor sentence, okay? So that's yet another complex grammatical feature. And then of course I finish off with a nice complex sentence. So that's really it when it comes to the five phrases and the five sentence starters that you can use for your creative writing story. And I hope you guys found this series useful.